What's up, state champs? You think you're mad enough to take the edge with us? Well, step up then. The show begins now. Presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Snapcamp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926. Coming to you this week from the 19th annual MIHL Prep Hockey Showcase in Trenton, Michigan. And of course, after the weather we had last week, we got a host this week inside an ice rink. Postponements, cancellations, the show must go on and we have a great show. Welcome to State Champs presented by Lawrence Tech. My name is Lauren Plant. Of course, we're going to have lots of hockey on this week's show and an update in our National Coney Island Player of the Year race. You may know Kier. Sierra Hay had her last show last week on State Champs. She's now an anchor at WLNS in Lansing. Some of you Michigan High School hockey report watchers might recognize Jenna Skelsky. She'll be along in just a little bit. But let's begin from last Saturday, the fast break invitational in boys hoops, Muskegon versus Belleville. Hey, Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. ready? Yeah. Muskegon making the trip out east to battle Belleville. Tigers hosting this year's Fast Break Invitational. Muskegon last won a basketball state title in 2014. This is a good team. 7-3 on the season. First quarter, DeAndre Carter feeding Vern Nash. The junior, the three ball from the corner pocket. Nash had a team high 15 points. State quarterfinalists a year ago, Belleville out to a 7-4 start. Senior Andrew Leamy had a game high 20. Here, the drive and the kiss off the window. Tigers trailed a few after the opening quarter. Big Reds maintained its lead in the second. In transition, Eontay Torns, the dish to Carter, the senior with the nice up and under, Muskegon up 29-24 at the break. Belleville not going down without a fight in the final stanza. Jamari Badden to Connor Bush, the junior with the two-hand jam. He had 12 on the night, but Muskegon prevailed. Jarvis Walker with the miss, Davis the putback. The junior had 11. Muskegon beats Belleville 56-47. Girls basketball, OAA Blue Division, Birmingham Seaholm visiting the Falcons of Rochester. Maple's just a game back of Rochester for tops in the division. Chloe Burkett bottled up, finds Caitlin Ingram who sidesteps and lets it go. Are you kidding me? Rochester unbeaten at 5-0 in the blue, but 0-6 out of divisional play. Definitely comfortable in league. Tory Hawkins going alone, finger roll the starter night, but the Falcons trailed 20-13 at halftime. Rochester got going in the third. Megan Lorenzo finds a wide open Sydney Swart in the corner who drains one of her two triples on the night. Falcons turning it up on D. Laura Cuchera, the deflection. Just enough for Hawkins to get a bucket unchecked. Rochester led 27-22 after three. The lead grew. Falcons outscored Seaholm 26-9 in the second half. Hawkins the open look from way outside. Rochester remains undefeated in the blue. 39-29 victory. To competitive cheer now, down river to be exact for the always hyped 16th annual Wyandotte Roosevelt Invite. On the varsity side, nine schools competing across two divisions, the second division incorporating division two, three, and four. These are the Riverview Pirates with round two action. At the end of the day, the Pirates took second place. The top dog in division two, three, four, Carlton Airport. Here, the Jets soaring in their round two routine. <laughs> to Division One, host school Wyandotte Roosevelt packed the house with frenzied fans. Bears giving them more of what they want in round one. <laughs> Solid score of 224.9, Roosevelt runners up. 
and maybe the loudest crowd on the day, the Troy Athens Red Hawks faithful. And going into round two, barely up on Roosevelt, but here, taking things to the next level. Troy Athens wins the Division I crown to take the 16th Wyandotte Roosevelt invite. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. With over 100 degree programs, including graduate and doctoral offered at LTU, their one common theme is the focus on theory and practice, the art of learning through classroom and hands-on training. In a world where everyone and everything is digitally connected like never before, the graduates who will be valued most are those who can think critically and communicate effectively. Lawrence Tech's media communication program has been specifically designed to address these requirements. A degree in media communications prepares students to be cross-trained in journalism, broadcasting, production, and public relations. The opportunities are endless. There's clubs like Blue Devil Broadcasting that's student run, and we do stuff with social media, videos about campus, about the sports teams. If you see yourself studying media communications in the future, consider enrolling at Lawrence Technological University. For more information on the degree programs offered at LTU, head over to the website, ltu.edu, today. What's up, State Champs Nation? I'm Jenna Skelsky, and I'm here to tell you that every high school hockey fan needs to check out our Michigan High School Hockey Report. Senior producer and editor John Kidd and our hockey insider Sean Belizean go deep on everything puck. New shows go up every Wednesday and it is packed with great insight. You can watch the show on our website, Facebook, and our State Champs TV YouTube page. Speaking of hockey, we've got a pair of games from the Trenton Hockey Showcase as well as an update in our National Coney Island Player of the Year race. Don't go anywhere. Coaching basketball is a rewarding and challenging pursuit, but you don't have to do it alone. The Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan are here to support you. BCAM is the largest coaches association in the country with nearly 6,000 members representing college, high school, and middle school ranks. Members have access to drills, clinics, job opportunities, and it's the only way to vote for our annual awards, including Mr. and Miss Basketball. Join today by visiting bcam.org because better coaching always matters. I love working for Strike. I'm genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Striker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. I've always been really good at math and science, and I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, but not as a doctor. So I chose Lawrence Tech's biomedical engineering program. I've pushed myself to take internships, like this one, at a hospital in an orthopedic research lab. Thanks to Lawrence Tech's unique, hands-on style of education, I'm graduating with a published research paper and a job. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I'm Gabe O'Neill, we head to Trenton for the Michigan Prep Hockey Showcase. In the first game on Friday, we had Alpina taking on the Chargers from Flint Powers Catholic. We go a couple minutes into the contest. Flint Powers in white would get on the board first as they would crash the net and it would be Tyler Lawrence who bangs home the rebound for his 12th goal on the season. Chargers up 1-0. Alpina coming in at 13-4-1 would respond just four minutes later, keeping the puck in the Chargers end and it would be the senior Kyle Van Dusen to put it in the back of the net and we were tied at one after the opening period of play. Midway through the second, the Wildcats would take the lead. Van Dusen wins the faceoff and then backhands it in for his second goal on the game. Alpina now up 2-1. More from the Wildcats five minutes later. It's that man Van Dusen once again here snapping it in to give him that natural hat trick. Heading into the third, Alpina was up by a pair. Wildcat netminder Cooper Black just recently broke the school record for shutouts in the season and was huge in this one. Here stopping Carson Snyder's rebound attempt in front the senior had 31 saves on the afternoon. As Alpina would go on to beat Flint Powers at the Prep Hockey Showcase, 3-1 the final score. 
Next up at the showcase, a pair of Division III teams squaring off as Houghton made the trip from the UP to take on the Cranes from Cranbrook. And we pick things up in the second period with the game scoreless. We have Cranbrook 12th in our latest top 25 rankings. Check out the senior Connor McGrath with this beauty of a shot for his 14th on the season. Cranes up one to nothing. Back comes Houghton with just over a minute left in the second. The senior Justin Norkel gets around the defender and then backhands it home and we were knotted at one as we headed into the third. The Cranes would take the lead with 10 minutes to go in the contest as the junior Lucas Doran snaps it into the back of the net. Cranbrook now up 2-1. to one. The Gremlins would answer just four minutes later. Brad Gothier feeds it to Nathan Irva who buries the rubber. We were tied at two after regulation. At the showcase, instead of overtime, they go into a shootout. It went back and forth throughout the shootout. Houghton Jr. Nico Rajala with the nice goal to give the Gremlins a 3-2 lead. Cranbrook's Joshua Sherman needed to score here to advance in the next round of the shootout, and his shot is off the mark. As Houghton goes on to beat Cranbrook in the shootout, 3-2 the final score. Hey, I'm Sean Belisian, and it's time once again for our Player of the Year update brought to you by your friends at National Coney Island. Go get yourself a bowl of chili, a couple of Coney's, extra onions for me, please. MIHL Showcase was this weekend. Speaking of showcase, all 10 of the players on our list were showcased for fans out there. You could have seen one of our forwards, Mr. Larson, take on one of our defenders, Mr. Blend. How about Cooper Black, a young man from Alpena, making a serious case for himself to get on this list? Get out there and vote. At the end of the year, you, that's right, you have the power to advance one of these fine players into our final four. And then our committee picks the other three. Around the time the championships happen, we'll let you know who our player of the year is. So go online, vote early, vote often, and you can be a part of this process. Now, this list is fluid. We may make a change or two yet before the season's done. So act now, and we hope to see you at the rink. State Champs Esports is registering teams right now for the greatest League of Legends high school season and tournament in the Midwest. Schools representing Michigan, Indiana, and more are all getting in for bragging rights to be number one in the Great Lakes states and to claim the over $600,000 in college scholarship money from Lawrence Tech. This 10-week virtual season begins mid-February with a two-day incredible tournament in mid-May at LTU. League registration and competition is all free, but the deadline to register ends this week. Get your five-man team together and register today at statechampsesports.net. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. Touchdown, the ones who wake up every morning ready to take on the world. The ones who push their limits to be better than the rest. You are looking to join a team of leaders who want to be challenged. You want to be pushed to your limits. You value freedom and think you have what it takes. The ones with speed, strength, intellect, and determination. Michigan Army National Guard. We see you. I'm on the Blue Devil football team, and that's a great place to be, because other colleges wouldn't let me be both a football player and a nursing student. And just because I'm a dog on the field doesn't mean I can't take care of people. And man, do I love people. The small class size of LTU give me awesome access to my nursing professors. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's. Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. This fundraiser has been awesome for our squad. We've made a lot of money. It's very easy to do, it's very quick to do, and it's very effective. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. 
Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Today we'd like to introduce you to Reaching Higher, Michigan's premier high school basketball experience. Back in 2009, the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan and the Michigan High School Athletic Association joined together to create an event at which those student athletes who have the potential to play college basketball at some level can showcase their skills and learn in a safe, inexpensive educational environment. Players are nominated by high school coaches and a BCAM committee reviews the applications and extends invitations to approximately 100 boys and girls to participate in the summertime event. During the day-long program, attendees and their parents learn about the college compliance and recruiting process and players go through station work on various skills before engaging in afternoon schedule of games. The event also serves as a training ground for a number of up-and-coming MHSAA registered officials, which will engage in rules studies, coverage mechanics, game and people management skills, before getting valuable court time and critiques from some of the best men and women in stripes from our state. Reaching Higher is also the only scholastic event in Michigan that college coaches are allowed to attend during the month of June. To learn more about Reaching Higher, you can visit the BCAM and MHSAA websites. All right, welcome inside the very warm and comfortable State Champ Sports Network studios. Dan Young is here from BCAM. You just saw him in our MHSAA Minute talking about Reaching Higher. Let's talk more about Reaching Higher. When is Reaching Higher? Reaching Higher this year will be in June. Sunday, June 23rd at Milford High School. All right, so let give a typical day that the athlete is going to experience. So athletes that want to try to play college basketball are nominated and, and come to the event. We have educational speakers, former college players, Travis Bader, Shane Battier and such. We have educational people on board to say, what, what is it going to take to play and be a student athlete at the college level? Then we get into basketball, go to the floor and have intense station work, bigs against bigs, guards against guards. Coaches like to see that, and then we play. All right, how do coaches nominate? The entire month of February, BCAM members will nominate any student that goes to any MHSAA school for this event. The deadlines will end March 1st. All right, so go to bcam.org for all the details on how to do that, and check out our Hang Time podcast Dan and I are really going to get into the weeds on some of the real details regarding Reach and Hire. And there's a lot of questions out there. Yeah. We're going to hope to answer them. Check it out right now on all the State Champs platforms. Back to boys basketball in a KLAA East showdown for first place. Westland John Glenn on the road at Wayne Memorial. The Zebras on the bubble of cracking our D1 top 10 rankings. 10 and 2 record thus far for Wayne. Zebra senior Isaiah Lewis has got game. Coast to coast, slicing and dicing, give him the hoop and the harm. He had six in the first. Rockets beat the Zebras at home in December. Glenn Xavier Miller will find Chad Stevens all alone top of the arc. The Hillsdale baseball commit pitched a pair of triples in the first frame. Rockets led 18-15 after one. Late stages of the first half. Rennell Thrasher shot off the mark, but Jalen Johnson, the rebound, the nice finish. Rockets led at the half, 34-26. Glenn guard Joe Moon had 37 first time these two met. He broke Nick Daniels' school career scoring record of 1170 in the first quarter. My goodness, finished with 23, put him on the Mr. Basketball ballot. Wayne doing a nice job here in transition. Christo Bessie comes down with the rebound, quickly outlets to a streaking Kenneth Bowie. Clear path, Zebras down eight. Still in the third, Rockets still firing. Check out Brendan Balco, one of nine rebounds and working between the trees, able to pop it out to Thrasher who dials in from long distance. He had 16, Rockets led 54-44 into the fourth. 
The point position on both teams outstanding. Lewis steals the inbound, streaks the other way for the deuce. He led all scorers with 27. Under a minute to go, Zebra's down four. Lewis finds Cartier, Muth, Zuber underneath, gets creative to bring Wayne within two. He had 13, but the Rockets closed it out at the free throw line. They sweep the regular season series, defeat Wayne 67-63. There is a three-way tie now atop the KLAA East. To Macomb now for more hockey, the Anchor Bay Tars welcoming in Northern Michigan Sheboygan, spending some time down south. First period, Tars trying to clear the zone, a pair of cheese ready for it. Isaac Chase to Jaden Lindell for the goal. Moments later, Sheboygan back at it. Garrett Spensley shot blocked, but Anthony Steiner adds to the Chiefs' advantage. Tars now looking to get one on the board. Ryan Saad, that's good. Tars trail the Chiefs two to one. Still in the first. Tars trailing by two now. The senior forward, Nicholas Basarico, past the defense, stays with it on the backhand. Anchor Bay within one after one. Start of the second period, Tars shorthanded, but making things happen. The junior, Gavin Walters from behind the net. The wraparound, we were tied at three. Sheboygan responded to go up a goal looking for more. The captain, Jaden Lindell, gets the hat trick, 11th of the season. Chiefs led 5-3 after two. Tars would get one more, but too little, too late. Sheboygan wins this one 5-4. I'm Rachel Zerby from the UP. Starting with girls hoops, Nagani on the road at Gladstone. Opening minutes of the game, Hannah Bosco passes the ball to an open Mackenzie Karki who shoots the three ball. And that's a good one from long range. The Miners jump in front early on. On the other end, Gladstone would toss the ball around a little bit, but eventually Megan Crow would get the ball under the rim and go for the easy layup. Later on for the Miners, Amelia Palamaki, the cross court pass to Abby Nelson who gets inside for the bucket. It's on a Ghani to start. Heading to the second quarter now, Abby Nelson again. This time she's passing it to Alyssa Hill, count it, and the foul. Still in the second quarter, Andy Bellinger would go for the jumper. It's off the rim, but somehow it still goes in. The Braves would overcome an 11-point halftime deficit to beat the Miners 43-39. Moving on to boys hoops, Marquette hosting Westwood. First quarter was a pretty quiet one, picking up in the second. Brennan Kasky passes to John Thompson for three. Moments later, the Patriots with the ball now. And anything you can do, I can do better, says Nate Beckman probably. The two exchanging three balls early on. To the third quarter now, Bryce Brazo goes inside to get the layup. Marquette starting to pull away in this one. On the other end, Alangelo tries for the jump. It spins around the rim and doesn't want to go in. The Redmen get the rebound. Brazo will toss to Thompson, who will toss it to Grizzulis. And he knows that three is good from the top. Grizzulis finished with 13 points and 11 rebounds as Marquette beats Westwood 47-39. StateChampsNetwork.com is the heartbeat of the State Champs sports universe. Compelling stories, the latest blogs in recruiting and news, the best team rankings in the state, and of course, literally hundreds of hours of all the incredible State Champs shows and highlights that you can handle. State Champs covers all high school sports in both the state of Michigan and Indiana. Bookmark StateChampsNetwork.com and check back every day. The main event is next. It's tough to improve on an original, and Snethcamp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram dealer. Lease the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 for only $69 a month for 24 months, or an all-wheel drive Dodge Journey GT, just $42 a month, only during the Big Finish event at Snethcamp on Telegraph Road in Redford. Snethcamp, Metro Detroit's original. Snethcamp, Snethcamp. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. We're getting reports that you have over 40,000 flavor combinations. That's right. May I examine one, ma'am? Is this real cheese? 100% real mozzarella, officer. Explain this dough. Made fresh daily. I'm gonna have to confiscate this as evidence. Aren't you a mall cop? All units, someone's in the fountain. 10-4, tiger on the prowl. 
Flavor fanatics will do anything for our one-of-a-kind flavored crust pizza with meal deals for every budget. Hungry? Howie! Welcome back to State Champs. Boys hockey taking center stage. Another one from here at the Showcase. Division two this year, again, arguably the deepest in 2019. Two of the best teams in the state. Trenton and Heartland getting after it. Let's get physical. This week's main event. With this opportunity, you play hard, you play smart, and as always, what separates Trent from everyone else, you play together as a team. Let's go get the W, boys. Second year in a row, Trenton and Heartland meeting at the MIHL Prep Hockey Showcase. Rematch of last year's Division II State Championship finale, Heartland went home with its first state title in school history. Trenton entered this game ranked fifth in the state, winners of eight of nine. First period, junior Brandon Clark with the opportunity to die by senior Keith Brett Tomey. Heartland is currently ranked second in the state. With the loss to Livonia Stevenson a week ago still stinging, a win here would bury the recent past. Remaining moments of the first period, Johnny Druskinis with the good look, but the Trojans' Joey Cormier the stop. Early stages of the second, Trenton almost got a lucky break. Our Hockey Player of the Year candidate Cam Blanton's pass attempt off a Heartland stick, but Tomey there once again for the save. The senior had 16 stops on the night. Trenton was in the penalty box four times in the second period, but the Trojan penalty kill was killer. Cormier was a wall. The save on the Druskinis slapper. Heading into the third, we were still scoreless. Just over a minute into the final period, Trenton on the power play. Devin Dunn coming around and spotting an open Ethan Holt. The junior, his 12th goal on the season. Trojans break the ice. Under a minute left, Hartman bringing out the extra attacker as Tomey went to the bench. Evan Krauss on the receiving end in front. Cormier once again coming up huge. This junior had 33 saves on the night. Soon after Dunn added an empty netter. Trenton shuts out the defending state champs Hartland 2-0. The Trojan train steaming down the tracks. Winners of now nine of their last 10. Time now for the Great Clips Clip of the Week. We stayed at the MIHL Prep Hockey Showcase. Check out Cranbrook Sr. Connor McGrath fakes the backhand, then goes forehand for the goal against Houghton. The Clip of the Week is presented by Great Clips. It's going to be great. All right, that's our show for this week. This has been another outstanding showcase, and guess what? There's another one next week, hockey fans. All right, are you guys ready for the winter warm-up? I know I am. We'll see you next week. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Snap Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926.